Hi everyone, welcome to Cube Mac Learning and I am Gogolan Somnathan. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install, configure and access Oracle 21C from Oracle Cloud. This lab walk you through the steps to create Oracle 21C in the cloud and access outside from the cloud. So we'll go to the Oracle Cloud and create. Here we go. So this is my Oracle Cloud account. This account is freely available. If you don't have a Oracle Cloud account, you can get it with 300 US dollars free account for 30 days. Log into oracle.com slash cloud slash free. So you, here you can sign in with your email address and you can get your Oracle Cloud free account. Okay, I already signed in my account. So here I'm going to create Oracle 21C account with Oracle Virtual Machine. So from this console, go to Oracle bare metal or VM or X data. Depends on the internet speed, it will take some time to appear. Okay, <clears throat> here I'm going to create a DB system. Here, this is my compartment or this is the root of my Oracle Cloud account and name of the DB system. Here, you can give your database name. My database name was demo21c. And this is my availability domain and select the shape of the virtual machine here I selected a shape is virtual machine and virtual machine shape depends on the virtual machine shape uh, the query so the database speed will be there so I'm going to show I'm going to create the virtual machine with VM standard 2.1 I select that shape and here total node count is 1 and I am going to select the Oracle Database Software Edition as Enterprise Edition High Performance and select Logical Manager as the Storage Management Software and for this demo I just need 256 GB there's more enough and here I am going to add the SSH keys to which allow outsiders to connect this cloud network. If you don't know how to create these SSH keys, just Google it how to create the SSH keys. It's always recommend to or ensure to use or create this cloud uh, SSH keys with Oracle Cloud Shell itself. So I already created, so I'm going to select my SSH keys and the license type. I'm going to select license included so it's already included uh, license and the virtual cloud network so don't forget to create a virtual cloud network prior to create this database I already created this virtual cloud network and the subnet it automatically select and the other thing once you create this virtual cloud network don't forget to allow the network traffic for 1521 port or if you are using a different port allow that port or you can if you are using for a demo data database or testing purpose you can either allow all ports for the network and here you can see the hostname prefix I'm going to give you demo db and host domain name and host domain URL will automatically take so this URL we need to remember when we connect through SQL developer let's see in later so next here database name this is the CDB database name so I'm going to show demo 21 C 
and the database image here it automatically by default it select oracle database 19c so i don't want to choose 19c i'm going to use display all versions and i'm going to select oracle 21.1.c latest version and this is not a pdb database and system password so enter your own password and use administrator if you if you don't want this you can't you can simply untick this one i'm going to use this one and this one transaction processing database i'm going to choose uh, actually normally uh, we can use transaction process database for our testing purposes and I'm not going to enable the automatic backup since this is my demo database. Create DB system. So depends on my virtual uh, shape or virtual machine shape, it will take some time. So here I selected VM standard 2.1. So it's a quite low versions. So it will take some more time to create. That's right. So while we wait, so what are the new features available in 21C? In 21C, one of the cool feature available, blockchain tables with a blockchain technology, Oracle has promi promised customers to solve many problems. So such as to create blockchain stable with hash values in order to keep a secure transaction in between client and database so now it's provisioning it will take some time to create this database so once it's created it will show as available in green color so let's wait depends on my speed and vm sh shape it will take some more time i guess Yeah, here we go. The database is available right now. As I said earlier, depends on the VM shape, it will take some time to create this database. So now the database is created. I'm going to connect this database from outside, outside from this cloud. So I have a public IP address and a traditional SQL developer. So to get my pu public IP address, I can go to my VCN or else in the resources tab, go to resources tabs and first go to db connection and in the resources tab you can see a sub column called nodes and you can get your public ip address i just copy this address i am opening my traditional sql developer and new connection connection name is oracle 21c username says password it's my password you can use your own password system db is my role and in the host it's my public ip address and in the in the service name yes you can copy the db connection right here we can get the copy databases and view db connection <clears throat> i just copy the easy connect connection string and i'm going to paste here and i don't want this host name and the port so this is my service name demo 21c and okay all right i will test it yeah, connection is success i'm going to make a color for this my database connection and connect so it's connected so let's see the our database version from runner select query select balance 
from version this query normally display the results with the database version so here our database version is oracle database 21c enterprise edition high preferred released 21.0000 so this is the latest version available in the cloud now i have connected my oracle cloud 21c database from outside of my oracle cloud so let's see create two tables or so one table and add a data and see whether it's added or not so i'm going to create a table using create table command create table demo yeah that's fine and the first column name is demo id and the data type is number 10 numbers are allowed length of numbers are 10 and not none none is not allowed and demo name is my second table watcher sorry watcher 2 and 50 length watcher 2 is my data type and it allow 50 characters it also not now this is my first table just created my first table name demo id demo so in the demo table i'm going to add some data open tables demo so here i'm going to add my first data here the data tab adding a new data demo id is 01 and demo name is go home learn and saved it committed it's saved in the database so we just gonna receive this data select all from demo select all from demo so my data is available which i entered now so now i have created oracle 21c in my oracle cloud and i have accessed that database outside of from oracle cloud hope you guys have enjoyed with this video and please try it yourself and let me know if you have any issues or let's comment thank you for watching